I am Molly and this is Molly's Cauldron. Welcome. Today we are doing a pick a pile video. I have picked two different piles for you guys to choose from today. I asked Spirit for some messages, guidance, and insight when it comes to the next two months uh, preparing us for the beginning of 2024. So what chapters are we ready to close? What beliefs, patterns, cycles are expired? What can we look forward to? And any general messages from spirit. So I want you to trust your intuition when picking your pile. If you feel called to both, listen to both messages. If you feel called to one specifically, I would say to go with that one. Trust your intuition in this process of choosing. Take your time with this as well. If you need to pause the video and take some time with each pile, if you want to meditate on the energies, take the time to do so. But in my experience, the first one you are called to is often your intuition speaking to you. So take a few moments here to sit with each pile. If you are in need of a specific signifier for each pile, pile one has this beautiful tiger's eye owl. And pile two has this rainbow bismuth turtle. Take a few moments to sit with these piles and make your selection. Hello there, pile one. Okay, so you guys chose the beautiful tiger's eye owl. So let's talk about it. Tiger's eye is a wonderful crystal for courage, strength, bravery. It is a crystal for the sacral and solar plexus chakras as well. These are the power centers. These are, um, our, these are our emotional centers where we feel inspired, where, where we feel um, called, where we feel passion where our passions are born okay so pile one we shall see what you guys have in the, in these cards i'm very excited so let's see the first card here our first two are some tarot cards and we have eight of wands this is a message this is a message that's so funny i didn't mean to say that this is a card that comes with a message um but i'm hearing quite literally this could be communications coming in with the eight of wands you may have been uh, waiting quite a while for some kind of news or um, communication from somebody or s about a communication about something um, this could even be for some of you messages from the universe okay we have this bolt of lightning in the background of that eight of wands and i'm getting this very strong um sudden change i'm hearing snaps okay sudden changes coming in for you, pile one. You also have the page of wands from the Kauai Tarot. Okay, so the page of wands here represents uh, these these new ideas. I love this with new community with communications coming in, new ideas with the page of wands. Um, this is going to set you off on a new path, is what I'm hearing. Okay, crossing one threshold or crossing a threshold to get from one chapter into the next. Uh, pile one, you're very ready. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. You are ready for something for these next chapters. Let's see what the Moonology cards have to say. Be bold and make the first move. The Cardinal Moon. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Full Moon in Capricorn. And surrender to the Divine. The Full Moon. Full Moon. Okay, so with the Moonology cards, I am hearing more follow-up of this Tiger's Eye energy, okay? Being bold, being bold and making the first move. This is why we're getting the message that you are ready, Pile One, because with this Eight of Wands, I talked about crossing a threshold. You're ready to be bold. You feel suddenly... I feel pile once a lot of you page of wands 
you have a lot to learn still, okay? You are still early on. Maybe you're younger. It doesn't have to be. Um, but maybe you're going through some lessons um, right now that are detrimental for your future, okay? So they're talking about how you're early on in, in, your, in, the ch in these chapters of your life, and there's so much more. Um, that's going to happen that you're going to enjoy so much eight of wands is fast moving energy okay so this is a lot of fun energy exciting energy coming in for you pile one okay but you do need to be bold and make the first move or you will continue um, you know this past chapter of stagnancy you can still stay in there if you are not tapping into that courage strength and bravery that that tiger's eye is bringing in for you today okay with this full moon and Capricorn card, the end of this tough cycle is approaching, okay? So this is a further confirmation of you crossing that threshold, okay? Uh, this full moon energy, and we even have the, the full moon card itself, surrender to the divine. I love the word surrender because um, a lot of us have hesitation around surrendering, around giving up control. That's exactly what this is about, okay? For the end of this cycle to, to come for you, um, now, Eight of Wands, again, this is very fast energy. This is the here and the now pile one, okay? Um, I feel like in terms of what needs to be closed out of this, what, what chapters need to be closed before you enter 2024, I feel like it is stagnancy. It is waiting around for other people to do things or waiting around... Uh, you know, for, for the other shoe to drop is what I'm hearing from spirit, okay? The end of the tough, this is the end of a tough cycle, okay? The shoe is not, the other shoe is not going to drop, okay? You're waiting for something shitty to happen and it's just not. You have to, you have to focus on surrendering to the divine, surrendering to this good that is here, okay? Whatever these ideas are that are coming to fruition in 2024, um, they require you to leave these old habits, okay? not believing in yourself, thinking less of yourself, okay? It's got to be left in the past. That's why this bolt of lightning is here, okay? It is saying, strike it down where it fucking stands so you can move forward, okay? These are your beliefs. These are internal things. These are, remember what I said, sacral, sacral chakra, solar plexus chakra, your emotional center, okay? Um, you are literally, I'm hearing pile one, this group, you are way past, in, you are way past, some of these habits that you that are still sticking around like your healing level is way surpassed the way that you're acting <laughs> okay spirit's calling you out a little bit for for you to hear that necessary message here okay so i'm going to pull these two cards here next this is from the conscious spirit so let's see what spirit wants you to know spark of the divine oh Wow. Okay. I have to remember to show you guys the cards. <laughs> Spark of the Divine. It says, I reignite, I reignite the divine spark within me and recognize I am part of all creation. Part of all creation. And then we have the moon goddess, 41. Uh, this was 27, by the way. Sorry. Spark of the Divine, 27. Uh, the moon goddess is 41. And it says, I am in harmonious flow with the moon's energy and all phases of life. Okay, so we have a lot of moon imagery for you, Pile One. A lot of moon imagery. Okay, so you could be feminine. You could be a woman. Don't have to be. <laughs> um, but feminine energy is very strong with you, Pile One. Okay, this is telling me that you are a natural intuitive um, you are probably working in the healing arts, the intuitive arts. If you are watching my content, you most likely um, are someone who is very awakened and very in tune with their psychic abilities, uh, divination, working with spirit on a very deep, profound level, okay? If you are not quite there and you would like to be, okay, surrender to the divine. Let's get back to this one here. We have another message that speaks of the divine, okay? Uh, spirit is very much right by your side, Pile One. Uh, you need to see that and feel that and just accept that that is what it is, okay? Some of you, Pile One, again, take what resonates, but some of you in this group um, are very still much uh, in imposter syndrome with your spiritual gifts, okay? Your psychic abilities. Um, you are not crazy, okay? Uh, you may have some people around you who are making you feel a little wild, a little crazy, 
um, a little out of your mind for the things that you are experiencing. Okay, I am here. <laughs> Spirit says I am here. Molly is here to validate uh, your experiences. Okay, pile one. Again, you are very in tune okay, with the divine, with spirit, okay, uh, your gifts are worth your attention, they are worth you um, investing your time into, um, it's worth it, page of wands here, okay, there's still a lot you need to learn, remember that message from the beginning here, there's still a lot that you need to learn in these areas, okay, especially if you're wanting to help other people, um, you know, this is for you, spark of the divine, this is um, following your passions again with the tiger's eye energy the, the the solar plexus the sacral the sacral chakra specifically for you pile one um, this orange energy this is kind of pinkish here but I'm getting a lot of these orange and yellows down here um, for the sacral chakra for you this is where you're going to have to tap in to feel re-inspired uh, by something that has dwindled away for you in the past okay so I'm hearing that not only is this a spark of the divine, but it is a re-spark of the divine, okay? Having to uh, get back into your passions, get back into the things that uh, really actually inspire you and make you feel good um, in your day-to-day -day life pile one, okay? So that's what this is, reignite, reigniting the divine spark within you, okay? Um, and looking at the moon's phases as well um, with your femin feminine energy, if you are a woman who has um, a, you know, a cycle, <laughs> okay, um, I want you to do some research or reach out to me if you want some information um, on syncing up your day-to-day -day life with your uh, menstrual cycle, okay? There is a lot of power in learning how to do that okay so look it look it up i'm sure there's a lot of things on the internet a lot of information um, there's a couple things i know about it from my own experiences if you'd like to know my story let me know or i can make some content about it too uh, comment down below if you guys would like a video maybe on here or on TikTok about that um <laughs> bloodstone okay if that ain't confirmation <laughs> ladies <laughs> if that's not confirmation bloodstone <laughs> get up and get moving so as you can see we're moving forward to our crystals okay so yes we have bloodstone get up and get moving okay it's time for you to take some action in your life okay we also have rhodochrosite i'm sorry if i'm saying that wrong but remember your worth wow 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 okay remember your worth so with bloodstone here again i'm seeing that quite literal about the message i just conveyed about um tracking your cycle and lining it up syncing it up with the moons with the moon cycles the moon phases as well um get up get moving this is about movement okay um i've been talking to you guys about getting out of this energy of stagnancy pile one so how can we do that you know rather than just delivering you know you need to do this this and this you guys here's the how here's the why okay get up get moving get your physical body moving okay if you are feeling stuck in stagnancy whether it's energetically you know, mentally, emotionally, you can get out of stagnancy by moving your physical body. You ever hear the saying, a body that's in motion stays in motion. A body that's at rest will stay at rest, okay? Um, this is, and we also have, these kind of go hand in hand. Rhodochrosite, remember your worth, okay? Uh, literally, when we do not feel worthy, we will go, what's the point? What's the point of getting up and, and exercising? What's the point of taking care of my body? What is the point of feeling good? Um, you know, if I'm feeling stagnant, if I'm feeling like all this energy I'm putting into things is going nowhere, right? This is why we're needing to reignite um, this energy within you, pile one, okay? Remember your worth. This is what is reigniting within you. This is your fucking passion, pile one. Knowing your worth is where it all began, okay? I said again, that this is a this is a reignition of of a passion within you okay so you need to remember your worth remember your why remember why you decided to um tap into spirituality what inspired you who inspired you get tapped back into to what uh makes you feel good again this this mess there's a lot of messages here for you pile one about your day-to-day -day life um and getting it just back in line 
back in a in a in where you would like it to be. Be bold and make the first move, okay? Take action here. Page of Wands especially, like it's the first step of getting out of stagnancy. You guys are it's going to be a a process here for you pile one. You're not going to just jump right into the divine and it's all going to be magic and beautiful butterflies. Like pile one, I said you have experience here that like you know this. <laughs> it's not all rainbows and butterflies, but it can be if you stay persistent, okay? And you stay consistent and you keep up with with your get up, get moving, take action every day towards this and it will become something. But when when you stopped seeing uh you know or you stopped feeling like these promises from spirit or you stopped seeing instant results you instantly went into stagnancy i will not lie with you lie to you pile one resonates with me a lot <laughs> personally okay um so get up get moving get out of stagnancy move your body and it doesn't mean you have to work out all day every day work out for 20 minutes a day walk around the block twice once a day you know do small things. This is what Spirit was talking about earlier was that you have these small adjust there's these there's these small adjustments in your life, okay? With the eight of wands here. There's a couple different areas of life. You can make small little adjustments, okay? Remember your worth, surrender surrender to the divine, be bold, make the first move in these areas of your life and and what and what you desire will simply just follow. It really is that simple. But if we stay stagnant in areas of our life, we want to see change. It's just not going to happen. We're not going to see change out of stagnancy. Okay, so your energy is required in these areas of your life. Okay, last but not least, we have one more card here. This is specific to my spiritual stoners. Um, but I believe that there will be some messages that will resonate with you guys either way. This is probably one of my favorite decks already. I feel like every time I get a new deck, it becomes my favorite. But <laughs> but I just love this deck. It's so beautiful. Okay, for my spiritual stoners, here is the imagery on the background. I love it. All right. And we have Ira, Irawo, Irawo. I think that's how you say it. Restoration. Holy crap. Is that like a, a a red bird of some kind? It doesn't quite look like, um, oh, what is it called? It doesn't look like a cardinal. It's got black on it. It's like a red and black bird. I'm not sure what it what it's called specifically. So, restoration, pile one, does this not just sum up <laughs> your reading? Um, you're going through a restoration, okay? You're restoring things. Um, this is giving me like temperance energy. It's giving me this star card. Um, it's giving very promising energy. Okay, so the stagnancy you went through, it's not spirits not sitting here going, oh, you fucked up by going by getting stagnant. Get back it. Get back to it. It's not a punishment. Spirit is saying like you had to go through this period of restoration, this period of pouring into yourself. Okay, look at look at all the water that is present here. Okay, there's a lot of earth here too. But this is clearly, you know, surrendering to the, to the divine. Um, that's part of this process here. When spirit, sa like, when spirit says to you, take action, take action, that doesn't mean put spirituality to the side and get back into real life. You need to have both, okay? We need to have both things and have them come together, okay? And that's what creates the spark. And keeping, again, I said this is giving me the vibe of temperance, with restoration, it's it's about having both things and even amounts of both things, getting balance in all these eight of wands. Remember what I said, all these different areas of life, okay? Getting all these different areas of life balanced out for yourself, okay? I'm going to pull um, a couple tarot cards here, see if there's any specific messages specific messages from your guides pile one <coughs> excuse me any specific messages for pile one spirit okay so yes we already we're already seeing this message of making progress especially when it comes to for pile one if some of you have been in a in a depression Okay, I'm here to tell you, yes, it's literally, it is seasonal, okay? Um, now, I'm not here to prescribe or diagnose, of course, all right? This is not to be replaced with any kind of 
professional uh, health advice or anything like that. These readings are for entertainment purposes. You know the spiel, you guys. <laughs> But with this energy, I can see that, you know, you have really been facing a lot of depression symptoms, okay? Um, but there's been some big progress with this, and it's from your own, like, I'm literally hearing, like, Queen of Wands energy. There goes that courage, bravery, um, tiger's eye energy right there <laughs> with the Queen of Wands. Uh, you have overcome this from your own actions, okay? Talk about bloodstone. I mean... <laughs> with this energy you are so reignited and again for some of you you're already in this reignition you're already feeling the inspiration but i feel there are some of you who, who are needing to get pulled out of the depression and and you need to fucking see this okay queen of wands energy that you're already in it okay you are already you are already the powerful being that you're like trying to become. But the Ten of Wands, you are blindfolded here. You're not seeing it. For some of you, you just don't fucking see how worthy you are. Remember your worth. Rota Crocite. Uh, <laughs> remember your worth. Okay? You're so fucking worthy. And this isn't just spirits saying words to you. They, they're saying, take that in. What does that mean to you? You know, I feel for some of you, you, you work, you need work words for some of you you need to work on receiving things and this is not just receiving materialistic things okay for some of you eight of wheels it is materialistic as well okay so there could be some material things coming pentacles coming for you pile one as well all right but for you guys pile one this is all spiritual mental and emotional all right um so a little bit physical with the get up and get moving but you know it's spirit trying to pull you out of a depression trying to have you get reconnected with your passion, with your purpose, with your fucking mission in life, okay? With the Queen of Wands and the Eight of Wands here, you know, you're on a mission. You're on a mission, Pile One, and you cannot be fucking stopped. Even from this, this, this phase of stagnancy you've been through, you're not letting yourself stop yourself. You're already coming into this getting pulled out of the depression, pulled out of the stagnancy, seeing your worth clearly, like, allow this, Spirit says, allow this reading, yes, Wheel of Fortune, allow this reading to be the pivotal moment where you decide to change, where you decide to see the positivity, where you decide to see the light in things, okay? Be bold, make the first move, okay? Surrender to the divine. This is, these are the big messages for you, Pile One, okay? With the Wheel of Fortune here, this is the pivotal moment. Ten, the Wheel of Fortune being ten, ten of wands, tens, are talking about this chapter is over. The stagnancy, it's done. You are mentally staying there because of imposter syndrome. I think I mentioned that before. Of imposter syndrome, not seeing that you are you are this divine person and that you have these psychic abilities, right? Seeing how much you can actually help, seeing how profound of a person you are, how how strong of a person you are, how strong your abilities are, how worthy you are of making change in this world <laughs> and having a place in this world pile one allow this to be the pivotal moment okay i feel like that's all i have for you pile one thank you so so much for watching i do appreciate it if you're interested in getting a uh, private reading with me working one-on-one -on -one with me please go to my website, mollyscauldron.com, and book with me. Um, if you can't do that today, totally understand. If you would like a free meditation video by me, all you have to do is go to my website and scroll to the bottom of the homepage and sign up for email alerts, and you will get, um, I believe it comes through right, right away, uh, but you will get that free video that will take you to a private YouTube, a private YouTube link, um, that you guys can watch the meditation and enjoy it. So enjoy that. Um, you will also get some follow-up emails, just giving um, some information about me, some of my client reviews, um, as well as my story kind of summed up so you guys can get to know me a little bit more and find out who the heck is Molly and what is Molly's Cauldron all about. So if that's something that you'd like to learn more about, definitely sign up for those email alerts. Um, and I will be uh, also sending to uh, an exclusive offer to you as well in those emails, 
Um, and in the future, I will send um, other exclusive offers, but I'm going to be sending some pretty juicy content through email. So if that's something you feel called to do, I definitely recommend it. So yes, thank you so much, Pile 1. I will see you in the next one. And remember, if you feel drawn to, to Pile 2 as well, go ahead and keep on watching. Bye, Pile 1. Hello, Pile 2. You guys chose this beautiful bismuth turtle. So, bismuth is a wonderful crystal, which is both man-made and occurring naturally. It is very good for all of the chakras. The way that I use it is I imbue any intention I am choosing to use at the time. Uh, it is a crystal I am often cleansing. It is a crystal I'm using often. <laughs> it is a multifaceted crystal um, that is often underrated and underused. <laughs> it's helped awaken things within me. It's helped me remove negative patterns and create new ones. I feel like it is a crystal that is going to be very helpful with astral travel, with meditation, with very um, soothing practices, okay? Anything that you need in terms of communicating with spirit, bismuth is your go-to. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this for you guys, pile two. Let's see what is in this pile. What messages from spirit? Let's start with our tarot cards. Oh, the two of cups, pile two, two of cups. Okay, <clears throat> so this could be relationships, could be love, connections in general. Bismuth is actually really good also for creating bridges between energies, between people, between situations from point A to point B, things like that. So that's very interesting. All right, next up is the Empress. Ooh, okay, so we have feminine energy here. We had a lot of feminine energy in pile one as well. So if you were drawn to pile one as well, you guys, and you went straight to number two, I do uh, suggest you watch pile one as well because this is a lot of feminine energy here, okay? A lot of emotional talk. <clears throat> so let's see. We have the Two of Cups and the Empress here. This is talking to me about seeing your worth in these next couple of months before the beginning of the year. Um, ne needing to realize um, that you have everything you need already. I feel like that's what the Two of Cups is about. Uh, for some of you, you have connections in your life, uh, even though you feel very alone at times, okay? Um, the Two of Cups is talking about if you are looking for a divine counterpart, uh, someone coming into your life that's going to treat you um, as if you are divine, as if you are the Empress, okay? Someone who's going to treat you how you desire to be treated. This is coming in within the next two months, okay? Two of Cups to confirm this. Let's see what, what's in here for the Moonology. I'm very interested, very intrigued. <clears throat> okay, it is a time to take action. New Moon in Aries. Oh. New Moon in Aries. A time for healing. Balsamic Moon. And a new start is coming. New moon. Wow. Okay, so you have two new moons and a balsamic moon, which is like the balsamic moon is basically that tiny little sliver before the new moon, okay? Um, or the tiny sliver right after the new moon, <laughs> okay? So just a little shred of light beginning to, to show itself here for you. So <clears throat> take action. Definitely both piles are going to be resonant for both for both groups. I, I really feel that. I gave pile one the advice to watch pile two. I'm giving pile two the advice to watch pile one. So definitely um, they are going hand in hand. I can feel it already. <laughs> um, so it's time to take action. It's time to leave stagnancy. That's exactly what we talked about in pile one. Um, but this is very uh, detailed and very specific messages here, okay? It is a time for healing, but it's a time for action as well. Okay, it is a, this is a time for you guys, Pile 2, to realize that you are already living the life that you've been manifesting like two years ago, three years ago. Um, you're already living that life. It may not look exactly the way you want it to look. It may not be detail for detail, word for word, exactly how you manifested it. But a lot of the things you've asked for are currently here. Maybe it's not everything, okay? But the thing is, <clears throat> it is ego-driven when we go, well, it's not what I wanted. It's not enough. I want more, okay? <laughs> 
I'm hearing Veruca Salt. <laughs> I want the world. I want the whole world. <laughs> right? No. <laughs> you can't have the whole world. I know you feel you are the empress. You are the empress, let me just say. Okay? But you have to have balance in this empress energy. Don't let that power that you have, that you know of your power pile to, but don't let it go straight to your head, okay? This is, it makes sense with Aries energy here. No hate, no shade. Love, love me and my fire signs. But Aries are very, um, what is the word I want to use here? Um, they're very up in their head, but in an egotistical way, um, where they expect things. They, um, you know, that, that's the type of energy that's coming forward that Aries can hold, okay? It's not, doesn't mean they're all like that, but... That's the energy that they can that they can come forward with is um, big, hardcore expectations, okay? <clears throat> because you, again, you know your worth here, pile two, okay? So just try not to let, try not to walk all over other people. I was going to say don't let people walk all over you, but I feel that you, that you get a little pushy at times, okay? Again, no hate, no shade. But this is about self-reflection, about seeing things about yourself. It's time to take action, okay? Um, a time for healing, all right? And this new moon energy is like, you, you are trying to manifest something in your life, but you really have to tap into patience, pile two, okay? This is a little bit different. I feel like pile one has a lot more patience. <laughs> so for some of you, some things will resonate in pile one. All right, because I feel like some of you in pile two are a little too egotistical. So we need to heal the ego. All right, this does not mean you are a bad person. It does not mean that anything like that. Okay, it just means to become more self-aware of how you are treating people, of the expectations you're putting on others, especially two of cups. This is talking about connections, pile two. Okay, so in the next two months, how what can I, what can you focus on before the beginning of the year? Well, this is going to be connections, communication, um, kind of easing up how intense your energy comes across right away. All right. <clears throat> I feel also with this new moon, a new start is coming. As you ease up the ego a little bit and you kind of become a little more patient and a little more compassionate towards yourself. It's, it's crazy because this is talking about connections, but I feel that you are the most aggressive ego wise towards yourself okay you you give like very caring nurturing loving empress energy to the world okay maybe there's a little bit of ego around that too like you feel good because you are so caring towards others but you're so fucking mean to yourself pile two we need to stop that okay no more time to heal that it's a there's it's it's this desire this necessity actually necessity for this new energy, this new start, and it's about how you're treating yourself, okay? Um, I really feel like you have to give yourself a little bit of that Venus energy. That's what the Empress is uh, ruled by uh, Venus, okay? So it's really important that you give yourself the same compassion you give the world, okay? Um, all right, well, let's go to, I'm going to do these ones first, yeah, okay. <clears throat> So let's go ahead and get into these cards next. Uh, we have the third eye chakra. I see the wisdom of my higher self and apply this wisdom in my life. We have a theme of this purple color, huh? Okay. Ooh, solar plexus. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is the energy that came up in, uh, it was mostly sacral with pile one, but I did feel both solar and sacral. So yes, definitely some more messages, connections to pile one. Number 13, solar plexus chakra. I take actions daily that awaken my personal power. Oh, I love this. Okay, you guys got an extra card. Find your bliss, 15. I am following a path I love and am fully aligned to my soul purpose. Oh, wow, wow, wow. All right, before we get into the next couple of cards, let's un unpack these. <laughs> so here's, here's this purple energy. Okay, here's this purple energy here then this solar plexus yellow, and then both. <laughs> and we have the theme up here too with the empress is all yellow, and then we have maybe some orange and red here, and then more purple. All right, so we have the upper chakras awakening here and the lower chakras awakening here. I like that her hands are even kind of in line with her solar plexus there. 
Um, right above the navel, you guys, and below the chest is where your solar plexus chakra is, if you're not sure. Third eye is um, above, uh, between, but a little above your eyebrows there. Um, so this is, yes, this is spirit trying to awaken your personal power, okay? I was talking about how you're treating yourself, pile two, okay? This is why this is important, okay? It's important, my guides always say it's important, Molly, that we say more than just do this, do that. We need to give people the why and the how, all right? At least where to begin, where to start. All right. <clears throat> so before we can open our third eye and we can, you know, communicate with our guides and, and have these clear, profound messages, we need to be grounded, we need to work on and start with our lower chakras. We can't, you can't jump again with these expectations, okay? You are someone who's like, I want to have clear audience. I want to be able to talk to spirit. I want to be able to see spirit. I want to be able to have clear conversations with spirit, okay? Are you grounded? <laughs> are you, do you have spiritual practices? <laughs> okay, I take actions daily. What daily action are you taking? that aligns with you being able to have such a profound connection with spirit, period. Uh, they, spirit is saying, when I say they, it's what I mean. Spirit is saying, we want to open your third eye. We have been a little bit, you are getting these kind of, spirit is saying it's, we're giving them little blinks, little blips of what this is like, okay? You've had some experiences where your third eye is like, what, wide open. But they are saying, spirit is saying, it's after you get grounded in some way, some form, even if you're doing it subconsciously, you'll notice like, oh, I went for a hike with a friend today and now I'm having these profound meditations or, or you know, I'm astral traveling or I, I had a lucid dream last night after I, went, I was in nature all day. You know, it's like sometimes these things just naturally happen, but you're wanting to gain more control. For some of you, pile two, um, again, resonates with pile one as well. Um, there are a lot of psychic abilities for you guys, okay? Find your bliss. This is this energy here. But in conjunction with the third eye chakra, I'm getting that you have some very, very deep, profound abilities, okay? You have them. Um, but with the find your bliss, it's about following your own path. When it comes to spirituality, you're someone who is like, let me research how to do this right. How not to fuck this up. I don't want to I don't want to mess with spirit, right? Okay, so I'm going to teach you guys something, pile two. If you are interested in, you know, creating spiritual practices, of course, we want to honor um, spirit. We want to honor cultures. You know, those things are very fair, all right? And you can absolutely do your research and, you know, respect other cultures and not, um, you know, do anything that makes you uncomfortable in the spiritual practice, of course, but there is also a part that is very intuitive when it comes to spiritual practices, witchcraft. For some of you, this could be creating your own craft, your, your personal power, okay? You're having your own personal craft. Spirit is saying to intuitively create spiritual practices. Don't look up, don't watch a TikTok and it says like, okay, 369 method, we're going to write this three times, six times. That works for some people, yes, but for you, Pile 2, you need to trust your intuition. You want these deep, profound connections with spirit, you must create them, okay? And it starts with the lower chakras. Take seven days, one week. That's all it's going to take, one week, okay? Start with your root chakra on day one, and each day, wear the color. Look at, this is a solar plexus. Look at how she's complete she's blonde you don't don't go dye in your hair blonde for this okay <laughs> but she's blonde she's got a yellow dress on a yellow headdress you know wear yellow jewelry gold right um wear the color yellow um do your makeup with some yellow undertones or you know whatever you can when you're when you're on solar plexus day right with the root chakra chakra wear red red do red nails you know um red lipstick when you move up to the sacral, wear orange, you know, eat oranges, <laughs> okay? Solar plexus, have bananas for breakfast. Like, literally become the chakra for a day, okay? Learn about it. Do your research, like I'm saying. Like, But remember to trust your intuition as well. You know, what, what, does, what feelings come up when you tap into these chakras, right? 
go a little bit deeper than you've been going. You've been doing a lot of surface level stuff here. Okay, so in these next two months, you know, I feel like this is what your focus is before the beginning of the year. And in turn, doing all these things is going to help you get better connections. I feel for you, Pile 2, you're really looking to connect with people in the new year. I feel like that's what the Two of Cups is about. But these next two months is really about your spiritual growth, okay? And your uh, deepening your connection with spirit, okay? And opening the third eye as well. So... Let's move forward. Next two cards are the crystal cards, the daily inspiration crystals. Let's see which crystals are coming forward for you, pile two. All right, we have Chrysacola, Chrysacola. I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong. <laughs> start fresh. Wow, a new start is coming. Start fresh. Holy crap. Shanghai, detox your life. Oh my goodness. Pile two. <laughs> You guys are hitting the reset button in your lives, aren't you, Pile 2? Huh? Holy crap. This is a powerhouse of crystals. <laughs> okay. So, again, if you don't have these crystals, you guys, use clear quartz. Anything. Anything and everything. Any intention you would like to put into a crystal, clear quartz can hold it. Okay? Um, so, we have Shungite here. These are also very, these are two very affordable crystals if you do want to go and grab some. Uh, detox your life with shungite over here. I love it because shungite is actually is actually known for uh, protecting us and our physical bodies from harm against EMFs, um, electromagnetic frequencies, which is like the energy that comes off of our phones, that comes off of devices, our computers, um, you know, electrical wires, all of those things. Shungite is very protective. Okay. Um, and I like that it's using the word detox. For some of you guys, that is very literal, okay? Um, I feel, especially with the solar plexus being here, we need to look at our gut health, okay? For some of you, we also in pile one had a message about uh, get, getting up and getting moving. Um, so again, if that resonates, go watch pile one. Um, but getting the physical body moving, detoxing the physical body, but this is also on a spiritual level, okay? Remove the people from your life. This is about connections, right? So remove the people from your life that need that that you feel if they were gone would help you detox the, some of the negative energies around you, okay? You need a fresh start in a lot of your a lot of different areas of your life pile too. Okay? It is time for a fresh start for you to find your bliss and follow a path you're fully aligned to. Okay, um, you've been trying, I don't want to call you a copycat because like that's not what Spirit's trying to say, but that's what's coming into my mind, okay? Um, no more copying what other people are doing. It's time for individuality um, and creativity. And not only is this giving the start fresh energy, but this these blues and these greens are giving the heart center, the heart chakra, throat chakra, creativity, finding your flow, um, you know, finding your bliss, yes, but like finding how you can express yourself, okay, fresh, in a fresh new way, all right, so you may need to detox some things from your life before you're going to find that, all right, so it's, it's a process here, you guys, pile two. So with that being said, let's go ahead and pull this last card here. This is a special card for my spiritual stoners. Take what resonates, leave what does not, you guys. You don't have to be a stoner for these to resonate. These are still really powerful and beautiful cards. Um, but here is the beautiful imagery with the pot leaf. <laughs> and we have, ooh, Santa Muerte offering. Oh, I did I not mention witchcraft here? <gasps> for some of you, you're getting into learning how to give offerings. Okay. Um, I like this. This is also giving like judgment energy, justice energy. They are carrying the scales here, but they also, it's also the energy of death and rebirth. Okay. Starting fresh. Oh my gosh. Just a lot of confirmations of, um, being able to tap into something brand new. Okay. But, uh, Santa Muerte is coming in to cut some shit out. Okay. Detox, shungite. Um, even these kind of sharp looking edges on the Shungite are giving this profound energy of, uh, detoxing, renewal. I like that, the, the name, the word renewal <clears throat> coming forward. Um, there's an interesting one for pile one as well. These are, these are definitely going hand in hand, you guys. I can't say it enough. 
Um, but with this, this is offerings. So this is about you. Um, I actually feel too, because I put this, I put this above the third eye chakra. I talked about you guys pile two wanting to get deeper connections with spirit. Okay, create an altar. It doesn't mean you have to dive into the entire world of witchcraft if you're not ready for it. But for some of you, you are ready to become a, a witch to, I don't want to say, you know what, spirit is saying you're already a witch, but to embody it, to embrace it, to accept it. Um, but start leaving offerings for spirit. Okay, reach out to a specific spirit guide. All right, even if you don't know who it is, you can just write down, you know, whichever spirit guide of mine, a good energy spirit guide that wants to come forward and wants to help me with A, B, or C, right? With To help me with my craft, to help me get into this new beginning, to help me, to help me talk to you more, to get a deeper connection with my guides. Reach out and ask for it. But we cannot just, again, with the Empress energy, if there is any egotistical stuff going on within you, you can't just take, 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 take from the universe, okay? You have to offer something back. <laughs> you have to, it's a give and take. Two of cups, oh my gosh, two of cups. It's a relationship, okay? As if this is your, as if your spirit guides are your best friends who always have your back because they do. All right, so let's pull... Let's pull some tarot cards here, get some additional messages for you guys. Pile two. If there's anything else pile two needs to know, spirit. <clears throat> pile two, messages for pile two from the tarot. Ten of swords. Ten of swords. What is, what is causing pain? What is causing pain? Who is causing pain in your life? The Ten of Swords means that you are currently, wow, and the Four of Wheels as well, setting boundaries. Ooh, big, big boundary card, okay? Four of Wheels, um, especially too if you're trying to manifest things coming in, um, you need to set boundaries with people in your life, okay? Also too, set boundaries with spirit, all right? If you are someone who's hesitant to have a deeper connection with spirit or to embrace your 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 witchery <laughs> um, because of fear of things hurting you or getting to you or things like that set boundaries with spirit you guys we can set boundaries with our guides if you if you don't want them to show up after the sun goes down because it's too much have that boundary with your guides you guys okay remember how how much control you have in your life don't forget that you are in control here Okay, we also have the Seven of Swords. We have more talk of communications, of, of communicating more clearly with people in our lives. Um, I will tell you with the Ten of Swords and the Seven of Swords being here, be, both being here, there's people in your life pile too that, are, that spirit is questioning. Okay, um, there are also, uh, the, uh, I was talking about with the Empress card earlier, the way you talk to yourself, Ten of Swords, Seven of Swords, you're straight up lying to yourself. There are times when your mind gets into a dark place and you say some shit, what's the point of this? I'm not worth this. I just want to give up. You know, spirit is saying enough with that. You need to set boundaries with yourself even. Okay, pile two? These are some profound changes you can, you can begin to set with yourself. Oh my God, strength over the next two months, okay? Strength. Literally, you are coming out of this darkness and you're going into strength. You are literally taming the beast. That's what this card is about, okay? It's not spirit being like, oh, you're so strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like everyone fucking hears. But it's about the process of taming that beast within and gaining strength from the process. It's a, the strength card is a reminder of the process of becoming strong, okay? It's not spirit saying, you're so strong, because we all hear that, you know, and words only go so far. But the strength card is talking about how you can prove to yourself through your action, it's time to take action, it's time to heal, through your action, through your healing, try, you're literally proving to yourself, I'm going to get emotional. Pile two, you're literally proving to yourself of how fucking worthy you are, okay? It's time for you to step into this, all right? Rebirth. Restart. <laughs> a new start is coming. Start fresh. Look at all of this. Find your bliss. Tap in. Drop the drop the need for control, pile two, okay? 
If you let the universe lead you, guide you, find your bliss. Look at how her heart chakra is guiding her. She is surrendering, okay? Surrendering. Again, another, another word that came up in pile one. <laughs> but she is surrendering and following her own path, what she is aligned to, fully aligned to. Okay, I feel like this is your card, pile two. <laughs> this one's really chopping, jumping out to some of you, okay, with, this, with these little glimmers and, and, and of light, you know, finding the light within. There's that yellow energy, solar plexus, your personal power, recognizing how fucking powerful you are, how strong you are, okay? Woo, pile two, that's all that I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. If you're interested in working with me one-on-one, -on -one, Go to my website, mollyscauldron.com. You guys can book with me right on my website. Um, if you don't want to book right now, but you are interested in learning more about me or you want to work with me and you're just curious what that's like, you can go to the bottom of my website on the home page and you can sign up for email alerts. Totally free to you. Um, and right now I'm actually giving away a free meditation that I made. Um, so that's something that you'll get right away if you sign up for emails. Um, you will also get a couple follow-up emails as well that's going to show um, a little bit of what I have to offer, some of my client rev client testimonials, um, a exclusive offer um, to work with me one-on-one. -on -one. But I'm also um, I'm sending out an email within those uh, about my story, what I have been through to get to get here, who Molly is, and what Molly's Cauldron is all about. So if you want to learn more about me and more about Molly's Cauldron, make sure you sign up for email alerts, you guys. Um, down the line as well, I'm going to be doing more than just giving you exclusive offers and stuff, but I want to give some pretty juicy information. I have a lot of plans here. Um, I used to do some blogging and I'm kind of turning that into more of these, these exclusive emails um, for people who sign up for alerts and actually want to, to learn things and get helpful tips and tricks towards improving life and actually feeling better day to day. Um, so look out for those emails, you guys. Definitely sign up um, if you're interested. I would, And I would also love to work with you if you would like to book me. Uh, thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope that these readings resonated. Again, I can't, I say like I've said it a lot for you guys, Pile 2, but if you were also drawn to Pile 1, go back and watch it, you guys. Trust your intuition. If you're called to both, go for it. All right, there's times I watch pick a pile videos and there's five piles and I'm like, I feel called to all of them. <laughs> and I tell you what, there is something in each pile that I resonate with. I take something that that takes that that holds true to my situation every time. Uh, so yes, thank you so much for watching you guys. I will be doing more of these um, depending on how this goes. <laughs> um, I feel like I really love making this content and I want to make more of it. So Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye, you guys.